we are coming to you from this amazing locker right here. That's Beats, right? Oh, they're there. I see Ferragamo right there. Oh, this is the handbags. Oh my goodness. Oh, did you see that? Chanel. <laughs> if you don't like what you've seen here, you might want to check your pulse because <laughs> this is as good as lockers get. Very nice shoe. She has nice. You see that right there? That's Louis Vuitton boxes right there. Man, more Eileen Fisher. What are these? Burberry shoes. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, what's that? Marvel. Now commencing hoarder mode. Must hoard good stuff. Lake for so. <laughs> what? <laughs> Locker Nuts, what's up? We are coming to you from this amazing locker right here. If you haven't watched what probably was three episodes before, this is the locker that we bought at an auction. And we bought it for $1, but that doesn't even matter at this point because if we had spent $10,000 on this locker, this would have still been one of the most profitable lockers and maybe the most profitable locker I've ever bought. No, no joke. True story. So what do we found here so far? Started out with the tagged clothing, Eileen Fisher mostly, but other stuff too. What we estimate to be about $100,000 in tagged uh, designer, high-end designer brand clothing. Okay, and then we found a jewelry box with over ten thousand dollars in jewelry And I'm saying that conservatively because we had like seven thousand in scrap gold alone now I'm here. I already went to the flea market this morning I came here with an empty van and we're finding a jewelry mother load in cardboard boxes All right, if you didn't watch those other episodes go back and watch them But that's where we are. I just wrapped up the last episode and now we're gonna start digging right here in the Boxes right here, two boxes that were right here. Both had jewelry, one of them stuff full. Incredible, incredible. We have no idea what we're gonna find, even if we look at what's written on the box, it doesn't matter. The last one was, was marked dishes, plates, cups, and silverware, and it was loaded with trays of jewelry. Actually, let me go show you right now, just in case you haven't seen the last one. Look at this. <laughs> That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, even if this is all costume, this is gonna be some bucks. It's not cheap stuff. And we have a little bit here too. And then in here, it looks like we have a whole bunch of Joan Rivers and a couple pairs of sunglasses. But this isn't all costume, okay? We've already seen that there's a bunch of silver, a lot of Judith Ripka 925 pieces, and I've already found a couple pieces of gold. And I can't even see, all right? Even with my glasses, I can't see. When I get home and use the loop, we may find out that we have a lot more gold than what I've already spotted, so I don't know. Fingers crossed, but anyways, it doesn't matter. It's good, it's so good. All right, so let's get going. Let's look at these boxes right here. Okay, from what I can see on the side here, this is looking like photo albums. Nope, scrapbooks for her kids' artwork, I think. We find that from time to time. Some mothers really keep everything, and that's cool. Keep everything little Johnny did, or whatever his name is. Um, nice, okay. We'll, we'll actually put that aside, and maybe we'll give that to the office and see if, uh, if they're in contact with her. She might want that back. Up here, lampshade. A couple pretty nice lamps over here, so we'll put that with it. I'm loading the van for the flea market. We'll, of course, pull that gold and a few better things out of there. This one feels a little different, so. It says home office supply, cutting board, small vacuum. Small vacuum, okay. <laughs> okay, there's, <laughs> I got excited for a second. I kind of paused, I didn't see anything because I saw the towels and that's how the other one started out too. Okay, so this right here, this uh, Dyson, I don't know about this exact one, V6 Top Dog. Have to look it up, but we got one a Dyson a while back from Costco, and it was like 500 bucks. And I'll tell you, these are pretty pretty nice vacuums, really. Uh, it's an amazing vacuum. Battery died, it wouldn't hold the charge. And that was after only like, I don't know, two years. A little premature, and we just returned it to Costco. And they took it back, because they're super cool like that. What is this? Disc gear. All right. Fresh feet wipes. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, something for everything. All right, there's some lens wipes. That's actually pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe it's not cool, but it's... All right, there's the office stuff she was talking about, okay? Whoa. This is all CDs. 
Oh, disc gear. Okay, it means compact disc, but wait. These are just the uh, booklets for them, not the actual discs. So where are all these discs? It must be somewhere else. Huh, okay. I'm a little confused by that, but it's all right. It's okay. Okay, so what do we got here? That's a heavy-duty hole punch. These are cool. Love these, uh, these organizers. That's Beats, right? Oh, they're there. Yeah, heck yeah. Got some little Beats. What are these, like baby Beats or something? That is a good. And here's some Samsung headphones. There's the Samsung box to go with it. Yes, we are finding good stuff. My Tagalogs. Tagalongs. My Tagalongs, huh? huh. There's more headphones. What is this? What is this? I think you put, I don't know, like wax in there or something. It's like releases it. I don't know. I don't know. Nice towels. Cotton bamboo. Dang. I'm gonna put those aside. <laughs> I like me some nice towels. What can I say? Okay, a little organizer. Oh, what's this from Sephora? What's this? Netgear. A little modem. Next box. That box wasn't as exciting, but it's okay. We've had a lot of excitement in this locker. Okay, what do we got here? Shoes, closet rack, okay. And like I said before, you can't tell what it is based on what they mark because the other ones were very misleading. The one with the most jewelry so far said plates and cups and silverware. Okay, this, I see Ferragamo right there. Oh, this is the handbags. Oh my goodness. Oh, did you see that? Chanel. <laughs> oh my good. Oh my goodness. Okay, I don't know what this is. Facial sauna by Revive. What the heck? It must like be kind of like a humidifier for your face. Put your face in there. I don't know if that's got value, but these do. These definitely do. These do not even look worn. If, if so, maybe once. These are nice ASICs. Oh, there were more, more than that. Tags are shot. Yeah, these are, this is good. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of ASICs in there. Yeah, these are all ASICs. Fantastic. Michael Kors. Wow. Nice. More ASICs in that box right there. All right, go through this first, okay? Bathroom tile stone surface wipes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. This is Dillard's. We found decent stuff in the Dillard's bag so far. This is like shoe stretchers or something, right? It's all stuff, I think, for stretching shoes. This, what is this? I don't know what that's for. San Francisco Giants hat right here. It's nice. Okay, that all can go to the flea market. It's good to go. G2G, good to go. But this, I have a feeling this whole bag's coming home with us. Let's see. Mm, you know what, first let's get those hands cleaned up because I don't want to be touching no clean purses with dirty hands. This is supposed to be feet wipes, but you know what? I won't tell if you won't tell. You know what, these are dried out. That ain't gonna work. We go over to the sprinter van here. Oh, got me some handy wipes right there. More locker finds from a different locker. Yes, that's how we do it. Always be prepared. I was not in the Boy Scouts, but I was the dad of a Boy Scout for a while, so I did learn a few things. Actually, it's just common sense, right? All right, better. This is, I think this is a Ferragamo right here, just from the colors. I might be wrong, but I am not. That is Ferragamo. Ferragamo. Yes, we love it. Woohoo! That's wild, and that is pretty, and is leather. And that will be sold in our live auction, guys. And if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say live auction, you probably do, but we do live auctions on our YouTube channel. Woohoo! <laughs> And uh, that's where we sell a lot of the good stuff. Okay, we also have an eBay store, but we do sell a lot of it. Most of the good stuff in our, uh-oh, Louis Vuitton. 
Yes. We have the, our live auction on YouTube is every Monday at 5 p.m. Pacific. So if you like some of the stuff you see, and come on. If you don't like the stuff you're seeing in this one, there's a coach bag, guys. If you don't like what you've seen here, you might want to check your pulse because <laughs> this is as good as lockers get. This is this is crazy. Coach bag, $358. Tagged brand new. So good. Okay. This is uh, strapped to something. It may be not that. I don't know. Oh, what is this? That's a coach. It's just hanging out in the bag there. What should we do, guys? Chanel, Louis Vuitton. Chanel, Louis Vuitton. That's like... I don't know. Pick your poison? Oh. What is going on here? This broke. And then she tried to glue it. Mm-mm. That was not a good choice. That was not a good choice. That's too bad. But I think that might be a real Louis. Um, and if so, that would be worth getting fixed. And I do think you can fix stuff like that. Considerable amount of wear on this, which is not the end of the world. What is this? Oh, yeah. Okay, little spots in there. Still, it's a Louis Vuitton, guys. Huh, Palo Alto, Louis Vuitton. Thank you for entrusting us with your product. Our specialist craftsmen will now devote themselves to repairing your product using the finest materials and savoir faire that have helped to build our reputation since 1854. What company uses savoir faire in their correspondence? Come on. <laughs> you know that's fancy. We will contact you as soon as we receive your product in our store. So I can't, I don't understand. So what they do? Change handle shape and it was a $60 repair but it obviously wasn't done right no none of these look new I was thinking maybe she broke one and then, then broke the other one I don't know what's going on here but I don't know I don't I don't there's still some value there but let's get over to this oh yes Chanel oh yeah this has been used. There are some scuffing on the little buckle there. Yeah, it was used, but made in Italy. Definitely has use. Oh, there's a little tear right there. Dang. All right. I, I'm not going to be t like too upset about that, though. This is still awfully nice to find a Chanel piece, even if it is used. But how nice of her to keep the box and put it all back proper that we can uh, have a complete package even if it's used. All right, but that coach, the coach is not using that Salvador Ferragamo's Excelente. Very nice. Oh, very nice. All right, next box. Oh, this one's heavy. And we got the base for our table. There's another one up there, but now it's gonna be coming down here in a second too. But what can you do? I don't have a ladder. Okay, this one says what? LV light box bags. Could that be handbags? And fixture. Okay, there's a pillow. That's a nice pillow. Oh, a Tempur-Pedic, no wonder. You can wash me. Huh. Oh, that's pretty nice, actually. Yes. Another very nice shoe. She has nice. You see that right there? That's Louis Vuitton boxes right there. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. Okay, this is where the clean sheets go right here in this bag. Oh, oh man. Oh, she did a little shopping at the Louis Vuitton. Yes, she did. Look at that. I think even these bags are worth some money, too. Three, four, five Louis Vuitton bags. Have you ever seen anything like that? I haven't. I have not. I love that color though. Look at these colors. They're so pretty. <laughs> There's a thumbnail. Louis Vuitton. And can you just, are you guys anticipating what you, I'm going to find here? Because I am. There's one, two, three boxes here. And there's some stuff in that one. You know, the only thing that sucks about finding what's probably the best locker you'll ever find 
is that you'll never find one better. It's a little bittersweet in that regard, but I'm not complaining one, one ounce. I'm just saying that I will never find another. I'll, I'll always be chasing the rush that I'm, that I'm experiencing right now. I think this is the best locker ever that I've found. Oh, oh, oh this is heavy. What's she have in here? What's she put in here? It's really heavy. That is not a Louis Vuitton bag. That's something else. I'm just texting Jana, just telling her I'm finding Louis Vuitton. It's killing her. She could be here, but she chose not to. <laughs> so that's on her. What is... Uh-oh. Oh, I thought this was a jewelry box, but you know what this is? <laughs> this is a Bose right here. This is a Bose Soundwave, and this is the one that has the, the extra CDs right here. This right here is easily, I think, 300 bucks. And when I say easily, I mean basically I'm gonna put it up and it's gonna be sold, like within a few days. I think that's 300 bucks and it might even be a little bit more, I might be a little bit out of touch. And it's that dark gray, which is great. Sometimes they come in the cream. Not Louis Vuitton, but pretty dang good, okay? Pretty dang good, nevertheless. All right, there's a little LED bulb, it looks like, a little lamp. What else we got here, guys? Uh oh, this one feels like it could be a purse. Okay, this one feels good. <laughs> okay. This is insane, right? This is totally insane. That is a beautiful, beautiful Louis Vuitton right here. I do see a little bit of wear here, a little nick on the, there's nothing. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. She definitely used it because there's a little bit of receipts and stuff in there. Uh, but it's clean. That is a clean inside. A little bit of crumbs in there, but I mean, usually what I'm looking for is like makeup stains, grease stains, not not existing in this. And there's the Louis Vuitton. Oh dang! <laughs> oh, all right. We know how to get all these authenticated, so um, that will be done. But I have no doubt these are real. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Another chance for romance right here. Yes. <laughs> yes, this is it. Oh, this is the more classic look. And dang it, just bought Gianna a purse for Mother's Day. And I knew we should have waited. I knew we should have waited. Look at that. It's so soft, too. It's so soft. Look at the... Look at the craftsmanship on the leather here. This is, this is amazing. Mm, clean. That's got like a suede interior. Oh my goodness. That is crazy. Crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so crazy. just take it in guys we're just finding more good stuff what else is in here next box shoes it says shoes okay. mm-hmm more shoes that's for sure a6 Ferragamo oh my look at the Ferragamos Eileen Fisher <laughs> Eileen Fishers. Oh my. What are these? I don't know. This is. That's good, guys. I mean, if we're finding shoes, these are the shoes to find. Donald Pliner. Seem nice. Those seem nice. Todd's made in Italy. Are these nice? Is Todd's a good brand? Okay, more Eileen Fisher. Wow. I don't know if her shoes are as much as her clothes, but I have to assume that they probably are. And look at these Asics. More Asics. Those look barely used. More Eileen Fisher. <laughs> Guys, I'm just blown away, really. Alakai. TJ Maxx, 59 bucks on sale. 
Diane Furstenberg. Furstenberg. These are nine and a half. Okay, there's some more Todd's. I'm not familiar with Todd's. These look super nice though. I don't know. She's putting them in these little containers. They that probably is a good sign, but I don't know. All right, looks pretty good on eBay. Used. Well, there's some that look very similar to those. Just because they're like the moccasin. Is they call them driving shoes, but it's forty-seven dollars. It looks like prices are pretty decent. There's another pair. This is a moccasin, seventy-eight dollars. I'd say those are considered moccasins right there. There's some blue ones, ninety-five. There's an offer taken, so it's less than that, but gives us an idea. There's more of that Furstenberg ones on sale for sixty-nine bucks on sale, and those look like they've been, never been used. I don't see anywhere. That's crazy. All right, here's some more Eileen Fisher shoes. Man, more Eileen Fisher. What are these? Burberry shoes. Oh, oh, oh. Burberries. Oh man, with the tag, right? So those have never been worn. Burberry's crazy. More Eileen Fisher. And wait, no. This is this Burberry, but those are more. No, those are Burberry. I was just about to say, no, those look like the other ones, but nope. Okay, move stuff around a little bit so I get in here a little better. Just push that, uh, push the dresser over. Put some of the boxes I went through. I put the shoes over here. I just, I can't bring those to the market. We have to take our time on that, so I just put them back over there. I'll go through them a second time. Let's go through these black and yellows. My, my, that is heavy. I think it's office stuff. Let's look. Paperwork, yes. We peeked in that, but well, we couldn't get a real good... Real good view up there. Oh, 1993. That's a journal. It's quite a lot of stuff in here too. Okay, that's a journal. That's a journal. What's this? Okay. <laughs> iRobot. Dirt Dog. These are worth some money. Roomba. iRobot. Look at that thing. It's metal. It's a little tea. A little teapot. That's kind of nice. Just got two of those. And there's the Roomba Scuba. Damn, this lady had some money. I mean robots are not cheap the Roombas are not cheap but to have two yeah yeah it takes some money There's some jump ropes and stuff yeah all athletic weight loss type items lots of jump ropes that's kind of a nice one right here two pounds it's soft maybe perhaps my kids want these they have to do PE I think at home still all right here's the iRobot dirt dog there's one for 70 but it's $77 shipping and the wheels for it's 20 bucks Okay, $129. This one's parts only 25. That one's 155. This one's parts only 45. That's kind of crazy. They're parts only $54. Huh. All right, well, we got two, and there's a little bit of value there. Okay, next tote. Let's see. This one's lighter. Oh, it's not light, though. <laughs> it's just lighter. It's all relative. Okay, what do we got? I kind of thought the totes might have better stuff, and that robot's cool, but the paperwork not. Yeah, this looks like just home stuff. Yeah, there's the legs for something. That was probably for, I don't know, they don't look big enough for that table. There's little frames. Yeah, there's a leg that's busted off something. Look at this. A bunch of little frames and stuff, but at the bottom of that, this is a 50 cent piece. 1972. That is random. Yeah, there's some other coins down here. Some foreign coin there and some pennies. Oh, that's why there's a piggy bank right here. Maybe that's where they came from. What is this glow? It's something. Right, it's on a charger base. I don't know what that is. We'll put it aside. Okay, we'll have to look that up. It might be a remote for something. No, look at all these little doodads. Some magnetic darts. There's a Tamagotchi, Tama, Tamagotchi. <laughs> There's a little mini cam. I wonder if that works. It's like stuff maybe his kid played with. Little Hot Wheels. Right. Okay, next box. Ah, this one's pretty light. Not too much stuff in here. Just come a couple pieces of threaded pipe there. This is interesting. Little JVC camcorder here. Two megapixels, not a new one. That's a little bit older. 30 gigabyte drive. Still is cool though. Hmm. Ooh, what's that? Marvel. Are those playing cards or trading cards? Let's find out in a second. 
candles. <laughs> Paul Frank book right here. And some marbles. So probably not the type of marbles we'll sell in the auction because we're looking for old marbles. Right? Those are just a newer, cheaper set. Oh, look at this Ticcone Elmo right here. This guy could have some value. I don't really know. I know at one point this was like his head looks a little loose though. Let's hope he didn't have any trauma. At one point those were like the hottest item for one of the Christmases past. Ooh, electronics. Oh my goodness, another camcorder right here. Hmm. I don't know what megapixel this one is, but this is uh this is looks newer, I don't know though. Sony DVD recorder. That's a little portable DVD player and recorder. That's cool. There's a Roomba home base. That's the charger for those, uh, they're right there, so I'm putting them in there. Another one, Roomba, JVC, you did that. Oh, what's this? Ram set, powder fastening system. What is that for? I think putting like uh, screws into the ground and it's basically like a bullet in there, right? That shoots, like explodes. That's what powder means, black powder. It's just like a bullet, like a chamber right here for a gun. And however it works. Boom. Okay, this is bag right here's heavy. It's an old VHS, super VHS. Cool. All right. That looks like some signatures. No, could that be signatures? I, th I don't know. I see like an ink smudge over the, this kind of look like signatures, but then kind of, uh, I don't know. There's an ink that goes over the thread right there. And that's ink over the thread right there. That is some real signatures, I think. Bob Wiskman, BMG. Most of these I can't read. John Thompson, might be something. It's 2006. Marvel Collector's Club, it says. I think this is like a, for a, a card game, though. I think it's a card game. These little tapes are cool. Just see if the girls want that. Okay, next box. Ooh. I know what this is. That's a roll out your back right there. These are expensive. They're actually pretty pricey. We'll take that home. Okay, here again, what is this? Con Air High Heat Steam. Oh, this is a steamer, a handheld steamer. Fill that with water. This could then for her clothing, and that might be handy. Since we're gonna be listing a lot of clothes, that's what I was talking about. I see a dress form back there. That's gonna be good for uh, displaying it, taking photos for eBay. This would be good for getting some of the wrinkles out. That's a good find. All right. Paper towels, that's funny. It's only funny because uh, surprisingly we don't find that much paper towels, really. What is this? Oh, okay. Seashells and the starfish. That's actually in pretty good condition. There's little chips on the ends. Oh, what is this? Algeti, Lithuania. What? What is this? That is beautiful. Whoa. Ninety-nine ninety-nine at Home Goods. Wow, hundred bucks at Home Goods. Home Goods is cheap. That's something a little bit better, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm. I'll put that back in there. Put the paper towels to keep it nice and snuggy. This looks like more of the kids' stuff here. It's funny. I really did think the bins are gonna be better. Turns out the boxes were the real treasures. Get a little mint. Dolce and Gabbana handkerchief. <laughs> That's not bad at all. All right, another scrapbook. Pottery Barn Kid. These uh, blocks right here, they're like 14 bucks each, brand new. Crazy. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. 1999. I don't know if there could be value in that. I heard some of the first print uh, Harry Potters can be kind of expensive. I don't know. That's what I've heard. I don't know. That's a nice Disney photo album. 2007. 
Jeez, here's another Tickle Me Elmo of some sort. Fisher Price 2001 Sesame Workshop. This guy does something. He talk. Oh, and here's a chicken Tickle Me Elmo. And it looks like he might just do the chicken dance. That's funny. There might be some value in those. It's a little plushy. Gans. Bob the Builder. Here's a decent uh, tripod Kodak. I like this right here, Swiss Army. It's a good bag. Let's look through that in a second. Here's a Planet Hollywood, Orlando. Ringling Brothers uh, mug. It's plastic. Okay, just a bunch more like kids stuff here. Clothes, the jersey. Right. A little pulley right there. What's this for? Pulley art cable system from Pottery Barn Kids. Huh. Space shot for Essex collection. Yeah, that's nice. Big Spider-Man. Okay. Oh, Michael Vick jersey. <laughs> it's just a little kid's NFL branded though. It's not bad. Let's see what's in this bag. This bag's pretty nice. Yeah. What is this? What is this? It's just something different. Okay. This is nice. Oh, this is so heavy. Right here. I'm thinking books, and it says books, and I think it's books. Oh, and that's not good. <laughs> heavy. Caution. Okay, yeah, put it up on top. <laughs> I guess I didn't have to lift it off the ground, so I shouldn't complain. Hi, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this is not just books, though. What do we got? What do we got? Here's some of the CDs. I got a whole bunch of CDs. I bet you these are the CDs that go with the uh, that sleeve that we found, which is right over there. We'll sort those out later. And look at all these nice cables right here. Yeah, there's some pretty good cables in here. There's the USB-C cords. I'm gonna put these aside. Oh geez, side stack is getting kind of big. Touch screen wipes. Oh man, something I could use too. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> Oh, look how nice that brush is. Yoza. It's got this right here. Oh, man. Super nice. Hoarder. I'm in hoarder mode, guys. I'm in full-on hoarder mode right now. Whoa. There's the Sony TV remote. Okay. There's the TV back there. I'm going to put that over here. Only because we need to definitely take that home. All right. What's this? Clip-on cable organizer. Dang. This is this kind of stuff is nice. Oh, look at how cool that is. This kind of stuff's nice to put in little miscellaneous boxes, you know, for our auction. And that is a heck of nice pair of scissors right there. Titanium. Titanium is the good that's that's the good stuff. Here's another CD sleeve box or you know whatever. Put that over there with the other one. This is getting out of hand right here. This is this, this is getting ridiculous. It's too much good stuff. Let's see if the kids want that. Hoarder mode. Now commencing hoarder mode. Must hoard good stuff. What is this? Just a sheet? What's this sheet right here? <laughs> yes, juvenile humor. It's rampant on this channel just to give you a heads up. Ooh, what? Xylus? Stainless it says, but this is nice. That's like a Cadillac of scissors right there. Yeah! Here's some Manolo. I don't know. I don't know is what I should call that book. Gordon Ramsay? Gordon? There's lots of cookbooks in here. That's good. Hopefully there's no jewelry boxes on the bottom because I'm not going through it all. We'll take this to the flea market. Next box. Plates and bowls and glasses. Well, the last time it said that, it was jewelry boxes. So, let's see. Not so lucky this time. This time, it is plates and bowls. Lake for so. <laughs> what? This lady, this lady spent money like there is no tomorrow. Okay, that's ambiance right there. Okay, so that's like Target, I think. Ambiance. There's Lake Rousseau, my goodness. Okay, this is a ton of Lake Rousseau. Is that what this is? Is that what we're seeing here? Pottery Barn, okay. Okay, Chantal. So, okay, so we got mix here. So we're gonna have to go through it. That's dope right there. 16-35. I'll have to look it up and see what that is worth. But that's that's gonna be a few bucks. 
ambience. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're going to have to go through all this. And you know what, guys? Uh, I'll tell you what. I'm starting to get a little tired. The van is far from full. I've been packing as good as I can, but it obviously needs a lot, a lot more stuff put in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine more boxes. Well, we can cut this video a little bit short, I guess. I don't know. There's some more garbage bags there too, maybe with some clothes in it. What's this one? Kitchen utensils. This, these might get a little bit more mundane right here. So just to warn you, we might be uh, taking a turn for the more ordinary and boring. Boy, those purple chairs are funky. Kind of like it. I like it. <laughs> Um, but hey, I think we're gonna wrap this up guys. I mean look at this mess. I made here Yeah, I've made a mess here. There's a lot of garbage There's a lot of stuff I got to pull back in here But I think right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take those purple chairs and I'm gonna put them in the van Just mainly for void fill so that stuff doesn't move around in there So I can get a nice get everything locked together and even maybe throw in some cushions and stuff just to you know pack stuff in a little better um, because uh, I got up at four this morning <laughs> Actually, 3.50 this morning. I got up at 10 minutes to 4 a.m. to go to the flea market. We get there early. It's about an hour, 45 minutes to, from my house. So I forget. The van is 45 minutes. The trailer is an hour trip. So the van, we get there a lot faster. But it's an early morning when we go to the flea market. And I've been up for a while. I'm a little tired. So now uh, I've been working here for probably, I don't know, five hours. Found amazing stuff. Amazing stuff so far. It's a great locker. Still, I cannot believe we got it for $1. <laughs> That's insane. We're gonna make huge, amazing profit on this one, but it's not only about that. It's about like just the thrill, you know? It's that excitement, that rush when you find something unexpected. Just like when Jan was digging in that laundry basket, pull out that jewelry box in his, an amazing jewelry box. That's, that is why we do this. That is the fun factor here. The unexpected, the adventure, the treasure hunt, and uh, this locker. <laughs> Slocker did not disappoint. So just want to say thank you guys so much for watching these videos and coming on this adventure with me. I got to go home and get a little rest. And then we'll take a closer look at that jewelry, I think, in the next episode. Because there's just so much jewelry in there. Um, there's so much. And, uh, yeah, I'm hoping there's a lot of gold in there. I just love finding gold. It's something about gold, right? It's something about gold. Silver is fun, too, but it's not quite the same. It's not the same thrill. So we will uh, we'll pick this up in the next episode. But until then, good luck to you. God bless you. We'll see you next time here on Zilaka Nuts. Technica by Silga, made in Italy. Whoa, this is money too, right there. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, I just saw something in here. And, oh man, do you see that right there? All clad down there all clad.